movies, huh? Yeah. <laughs> this is tell you, this is funny. This is a free movie ticket right, for Dianetics, the Evolution of Science. So right, it's a book based, based on the book by L. Ron Hubbard. See for yourself. Discover the source of stress, negative thoughts, undesirable behavior, lack of self-confidence, blocks to reaching your full potential. Right? If you've never heard of Ron L. L. Ron Hubbard, right, he was the dude that invented, or he was the dude that, that they based Scientology's theology and ideology on. Right? He was the guy that wrote a lot of the books. He was also a very good science fiction writer who wrote stories about aliens that controlled human beings and, and all this other crazy stuff. Well, he was, you know, prolific back in the 50s when I, you know, he was a contemporary with uh, science fiction writers like Isaac Asimov and, you know, stuff like that. But this, we found this yesterday. It says here on the back, you bring this ticket for you get a free admission and a gift, right? So, um, and then, then it gives you a little map of where the place well, they're is. They're probably going to take our phones away from us, kidnap us. Yeah. They're saying, if you want to find out more about this, they have a website here. It's called DianeticsSanJose.com. We found this. Right? So I'm saying it's free, and it never expires. You can bring it anytime. You know what I'm saying? Found it at a nasty bathroom by Adobe. Yeah, yeah up there yeah, downtown. It's, and it's like the showings are Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. The Saturday, Sunday, 9 to 6. So that means you know every couple, every, you know, as every time the movie runs through, they start, they open up, the, let everybody out, they have the discussion, they run everybody back in, they do it again. Right, so you can go down and you can see this anytime you want, right? You can learn, you know, you can, this is basically... Hey, um, if it gets too hot, we're just going to go watch Dianetics all day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot, <laughs> uh, other guys, more people, more more modern people like uh, Eric Toller and a few other people. Eckhart. They, Eckhart Toller, they they took their cue from L. Ron Hubbard. I think Dianetics. that dude was from the 50s, so. Yeah, D Dianetics, L. Ron Hubbard was from the yeah, 50s. So was Toll. Yeah, yeah, they took their cue from L. Ron, and, and they got their ideas and, and their theology in the books that they wrote from L. Ron Hubbard's Dianetics, because this this is this is basically a, a rehashing, a rewriting of some of the Sufi teachings and how to deal with yourself and how to be, how to look inward and how to calm yourself and, and how to do that kind of stuff and how to be spiritual type person. But well, really what it boils down to is you go sit in a room with a dude with a biofeedback that's machine. That's Scientology. That's, that's his shit. Yeah, that's his shit, yeah. But, but we're, and, and, and really famous people like Tom Cruise and, and you know, Sand and, and a lot of people. The airplane guy? Yeah, what's yeah. What's his name? I don't remember his name. The Bright, Brightling? Yeah, the Brightling guy. Yeah. Yeah, they, they got into this stuff. But, side, but the, the base of Scientology is really, truly the... The thing, the reason that it appeals to rich people is that because the more money that you throw at the pot, the more money that you throw at the church, the better status, the higher, the higher you get up in there, right? I mean, Tom Cruise, we used to laugh. Well, you got to pay to get certified clear, man. Yeah, we used to laugh, we used to joke because there, there was a Scientology building down at the edge of the arts. Oh, Travolta's Phoenix. building? No, no, that was Tom Cruise's building, right? It, it, it was at the edge of the arts district down in Phoenix, and, and it turned. And there was a plaque on the side of it that said this building, this building was was graciously supplied by Tom Cruise. He actually, this fool actually paid enough millions to get a building built at the edge of the arts district in Phoenix, named after himself. They tore down. And then they tore it down to build condos. I mean, that was so funny. That that's how that's how wild this Scientology shit really gets. But anyway, this. <laughs> <laughs> that every time hey, but you know what? It's not that different from that thing I was showing you and Margaret. It's the clip on your ear and the fucking machine in your pocket. Well, yeah, yeah that's true too. Yeah. Heart Math Institute. But that's not, that's based on science and, and reality shit. It actually works. Now, you, this is based on how much money you pay to get to See, if you get the, if you get the Heart Math machine, you can clear yourself yeah. for about a hundred bucks. Well, anyways, <laughs> anyways, that's the this be Brian. So if you want to come down to San Jose and go see the movie with us, we got a ticket. We got a ticket. All right, well, we'll get you in. And, and you'll get a free gift. Thank you. Yeah, probably a fucking form to make a donation. To make a donation. And yeah. a pencil. And a pencil, yeah. <laughs> One of those L. Ron Hubbard pens with, with, with the alien dude's face. <laughs> ah, that's just funny. Thank you.